Today, I'm going to make some concentrated 68% nitric acid. Nitric acid is extremely useful and common in laboratory. It is one of the only acids that can dissolve metals like copper and silver alone. It is also a useful acid for organic reactions like nitration. The nitric acid we are going to make today is the azeotropic one which means you cannot increase its concentration and more by distillation. I'll show you how to make 100% nitric acid in a future video. With that being said, let's move on to the ingredients. For this reaction, you only need two chemicals, potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid. You can actually use any of the nitrate salts such as sodium nitrate or ammonium nitrate if they are easy for you to get. But if you are using barium nitrate, calcium nitrate, etc., you should make sure that they are all dissolved in water before adding the sulfuric acid. I will tell you why in a moment. So here are my ingredients. Concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate. I'm using some sulfuric acid based drain cleaner, so it is red and highly contaminated. But this should not affect the reaction. Basically, you can use any concentration of the sulfuric acid as long as you know the molarity of it. For every one mole of sulfuric acid, please use two moles of the nitrate. First, Add the sulfuric acid slowly to water so that a 67% sulfuric acid is formed. If you are using acid with a lower concentration than 67%, do not add water or the excess water wastes your electricity to boil. As shown, I'm doing the reverse. Do not attempt it yourself. I'm doing this here just for demonstrating. The temperature of the acid quickly rose to over 100 C. Although you can't see here, the acid actually boiled a little bit. After adding the acid, add the acid to a 500 ml boiling flask, followed by the nitrate salt. So, let's move on to the synthesized part. Sorry for the shaking hand. By the way, a fractional distillation system is set. I use some aluminum foil to insulate the fractionating column so as to save some energy. Let's have a tour on it. The condenser and the receiving flask. Now the solution is boiling and all nitrates should dissolve unless you are using calcium or barium nitrates because of the insoluble barium or calcium sulfates form. That's why I told you to dissolve all the nitrate salts before adding the sulfuric acid if you are using calcium or barium nitrates, because the layer of the insoluble salts will stop the reaction. As you can see, some yellow gas is formed. It is expected and is nitrogen dioxide gas. As toxic nitrogen dioxide gas is evolved, please perform this experiment inside a film hood or in a well-vented area. The fractionating column is used to ensure that the water comes off before the nitric acid does. If you don't have one, never mind and just set up a simple distillation system. But your yield will be a little bit lower. As you can see, the vapor is condensing and the vapor is climbing up the fractionating column. Okay, now the vapor has made it over. The temperature now is around 100 C. It indicates that water is being distilled off. The distillate being collected is useless and is discarded. Okay. So the vapor enters the condenser. Let's check out our receiving flask. As you can see, nothing is coming off. Wow, our first milliliter of this slate has come out. Now, 
the temperature reaches around 115C. Get prepared to switch a new flask for collecting the concentrated nitric acid once the temperature gets to 117C. After a while, you can see some white bubbles form, which indicates that the distillation is coming to an end. The temperature now is about 120C. Aluminium foil is used to warp the receiving flask as I saw some nitric acid decomposes to nitrogen dioxide due to light. Eventually, a lot of nitrogen dioxide will form. This will stain our products yellow. If you mind, switch the receiving flask to a new one to collect the last bits of yellow nitric acid. The temperature now is around 118C, which is a good sign. The boiling flask is filled with a lot of white bubbles. Get ready to turn off the heating mantle after a few minutes. After a few minutes, we are done and let's test our final product. Inside bowl on the right, there is a flask, which contains the solid left in the boiling flask. It is water soluble, so it shouldn't be a problem to clean it. On the left, we have some dilute nitric acid, which was collected within the temperature range 110 to 115 and over 120 degrees Celsius. Let's test this out. A piece of copper is placed in the graduated cylinder. Some of the product is added to the cylinder. As you can see, there are some bubbles and the solution turned pale blue due to copper to ions form. The gas form is a little bit brown, which is nitrogen dioxide. This proves that the acid is moderately concentrated. It can be concentrated by second distillation, if you want to. So, let's test out the concentrated nitric acid. To the acid, I added a few pieces of copper metal. As you can see, the solution quickly turns blue. Also, a brown gas is evolved. You can also hear some hissing sound due to the gas form. However, the reaction is not too fast due to the poor quality of the copper. If I've used copper powder, the reaction will be much quicker. Excluding the 70 ml of moderately concentrated nitric acid, the yield was 120 ml which represents a yield of about 70%, which is not too bad. I believe that if I do a second distillation on the moderately concentrated acid, I can rise the yield to about 150, which is about 87.5%. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, like and comment.